What's up everybody, we back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about Greta. Let's jump to it. All right, we got Greta's stats pulled up here. So Greta is a shooter small forward who specializes in mid-range. She can also shoot threes, but not nearly as good as she can make those mid-range shots, man. So first stat we're looking at is three-point shot, 72 at base. That is a beautiful base three-point shot, bro. I'm not really sure how much it gets from her sales, but I'm gonna make sure I slap that on the screen for y'all. Mid-range shot at 78 at base. That is a spectacular mid-range shot, bro. It is actually one of, if not the highest mid-range base stat in the entire game. And I'm pretty sure she gets a bunch from her sales and I got a bunch of gear and assist characters on me to boost that up even more. You can see I got plus 66 over there. She is pretty good inside the mid-range area. So make sure you're shooting out there with her. Uh, close shot at 47. She's not very good at those very close shots and those layups. So make sure y'all keep that in mind, bro. You will be missing a lot of your double pumps with her. Dunk at 47. You should not be dunking with Greta. I know, bro. She is a small forward, but that does not mean that you should be dunking with her. That is a very low base stat of 47, bro. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't get very much from her sales either. Uh, steal, dribble, pass, and speed. All garbage with the exception of speed being a decent amount at 58. Now that is much faster than most other small forwards, especially if you compare it to someone like Havoc G or Julian. They are extremely slow. They are closer to the speed of a center than they are to someone like a point guard. So next up, we're looking at jump at 53. She's not very good at dunking the ball or doing layups from very far away. So, but she's not very good at those things anyway, bro. So try to avoid doing those unless it's absolutely necessary. Rebound at 33, block at 37, and power at 30. All of those things are trash. It is going to be hard to get a rebound with her. You're going to have to guard your opponent very closely. And when it comes down to getting dunked on, you will be getting dunked on, bro. Let's jump to the abilities. All right, we got Greta's abilities pulled up here. We are not looking at the staples, bro. We are only going to look at the exclusives. Fadeaway mid shot, double pump, and flash shot. We know what all those do already. So first ability we're looking at is enhanced mid shot. This ability right here will make you more consistent in the mid-range area. So let's read it. Increase the accuracy of mid-range shots by 2%. At level 2, disturbance resistance increased by 5% when you're doing a mid-range shot. And at level 3, accuracy of wide open mid-range shots increased by 2%. So that is a total of 4% extra accuracy if you are wide open and 5% disturbance resistance and 2% extra accuracy if you are contested. So make sure y'all keep that in mind, bro. She is one of the best people in the entire game for you to use a flash shot in the mid-range area with. Julian is definitely the best flash shot user in the entire game, but she is definitely up there when it comes down to who's good with it. So next up, we're looking at shot pass. Now you want to make sure you are utilizing this when you have been eating them up the entire game, especially if you got a center of power forward trying their best to help their teammates stop you. This shot pass will get your center of power forward wide open inside the key for a free and easy two points. This can also be used to get yourself wide open. How does that get you wide open? If you are running a lot of speed on your Greta, you may have to sacrifice some mid-range for that. But if you just so happen to decide to do that, then when you use this shot pass, while your defender is stuck in the block animation, you can safely run away. There is nothing they can do about it. And if your speed is high enough, you will be far enough away for you to get a free and easy two or three points off of a flash shot. So uh, let's read it. You can trick the defender into blocking and pass the ball to your teammate when shooting. At level two, decrease probability of being intercepted by 5%. And at level three, increase receiver shooting accuracy by 2% during the assisting time. So this can also be used to get assists. The best way to use it is to get assists, especially if you're using someone like a point guard. But this can definitely get you wide open. And it's going to be harder to intercept this pass than it would a regular pass from you anyway. So next ability, we're looking at now we're not gonna look at that yet, bro. That's her level four. <laughs> we're looking at Drift Floater. So this is basically, an, I'm not gonna say an enhancement, but an alternative to using your Drift Mid Shot. This will make it so that you're doing something similar to a double pump inside the key, except instead of being inside the key, you are gonna be inside the mid-range area and doing a Drift Shot. Let's read it. You can use Double Pump Floater when making a mid-range Drift Shot, but your base accuracy will decrease. At level two, disturbance resistance plus 2%. And at level three, shooting accuracy plus 2%. So this is really going to come in handy if you have been destroying them with drift floaters the whole game. You just switch it up. Well, not drift floaters, <laughs> but just regular drift mid shots. If you have been destroying them with those the entire game, once you switch it up into a drift floater, they will not see it coming. All right, last ability and the most important ability in her inside, inside her entire kit, we're looking at drift mid shot. So this ability right here will make it so that you can move to the side while you shoot, which makes it easier for you to get past your defenders with these shots. 
So you can shoot while running, but your base shooting accuracy will decrease. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. Your accuracy will decrease when you're using this, but that doesn't even actually matter once you get to level four. So at level two, drift distance plus 10. At level three, drift speed plus 10. And at level four, increase your shooting accuracy according to distance from the basket. Now what they mean by that is the further away you are when you're doing a drift mid shot, the more extra accuracy you are gonna receive to stack on top of what you have already. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. You wanna be hanging out closer to the three point line with Greta because you're gonna get the maximum boost from this drift mid shot on top of that, if you just so happen to get wide open, you will be at the three-point area for you to shoot a free and easy three-point shot. So we're going to go into the training area. I'm going to show you the drift mid shot, and I'm going to show you the drift floater. Nothing else can be shown, bro. I cannot show you shot pass because there is no pass training. Let's get to it. All right, we got training area pulled up. We got our girl Greta in here. So the very first ability I'm going to show you is the drift mid shot. So when you have a level four, you're gonna get that special effect that looks like this. So this drift mid shot, bro, you want to be staying closer to the three point line with this. You are gonna be getting a bunch of accuracy from this. Now my mid range, I think it was at plus 66 and 78 at base. So we're looking at about 144 on my mid range and this is gonna boost that up by even more. Now if I got a point guard on my team and they pass me the ball, that's gonna be 5% more accuracy stacked on top of what I have already stacked on top of this drift mid shot bro it is a beautiful combination you want to make sure you got a point guard if you are planning on using greta because those extra accuracy boosts and those disturbances that you will be getting when you're doing your drift shots you want to have that extra accuracy to cancel those disturbances out now next ability we're looking at the drift floater now the way that you want to get this to proc because i've heard a lot of people saying i've been trying to do my drift floaters man but i cannot get it to proc so what you want to do is you want to make sure you are doing the same thing you do with a double pump you know what a double pump is, man. When you're inside the key and you do one of these, it's the exact same thing, bro. But you want to make sure you are walking to the side as you are doing this. And then you double tap and then you hold the button until you land inside the green. Look how much green I have inside my shooting meter, by the way, man. Make sure y'all putting more um, points on the stats that you're shooting with. And you will definitely have as much green as I do inside of my shooting bar. All right, man, that should just about cover everything. Just make sure y'all keep this in mind, bro. Greta is really good inside the mid-range area. You want to make sure you're hanging out next to the three-point line so you can have the maximum amount of accuracy from that drift mid-shot um, at the level four. And also, if you just so happen to break your opponent's ankles, you will be able to step out to the three-point area because she can also shoot from there. Now, one tip I would give you with the drift mid-shot, since you're a small forward, people will be trying to rip you, bro. As soon as you see that steal animation start, just jump into a drift mid-shot. They will not be able to stop you while they're stuck in that animation, bro. You will get a free and easy two points, especially if you're really far away from the basket. That's it, man, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.